Hello, everyone. It's just me for a first for the first few minutes. Um, Bree will be here. Bree's just getting home from work. But you've got me, and I see that you've made it from Leandra Land to Brittany Berg. Hello, everyone, for Tuesday night sprint train stop three. Tonight, these are a little bit themed differently because we are reading The Housemaid. We started it last night on Bree's sprints and read to the end of chapter 33. Then we diligently closed our books and have waited until now to continue. Now, last night on the sprints, if you missed it, you will know, you may not know that I feel like I have guessed this thriller. I could have fallen for the biggest red herring. It's possible, but I think I've guessed it. And last night at the end of sprints, because I didn't want to say it on the sprints and spoil it if I was right. So everyone wanted me to make my envelope guess. So my envelope guess was written in the discord. It's there with spoiler tags around it. So we can unveil it while well, you can go and unveil it after you finish reading The Housemaid to see if I was right. I guessed these things around chapter 20 and then kind of built my theory uh, running forth from that moment to chapter 33. So I would like to know if I'm correct. So I'm excited to read this just to see. I feel like there's no way that I am. I feel like I'm wrong, but like, I'm so confident <laughs> that like, I have to be wrong. I have to have fallen for red herring. So I'm assuming that I have, but everyone wanted to know if I had guessed it. So it is there for us to break at the end of sprints and see if I was right. Um, everyone is excited to keep reading because we did leave on a bit of a cliffhanger last night. We did. I need to know what happens next right? It's like, where are we going here? Hello, Kelly. Also, hello, Vanessa. I've put up all three of your comments and not said hello to you yet. Hello, dear. How are you? <laughs> Vanessa started us off today for the teleportation train, and we still have lots of teleporting to go. So me and Bree will keep you busy for the next five hours. Yes, for the next five hours. Then if you want to keep sprinting, this will direct you it will just take you like it just did from Leandra's over to Nicole's channel, Dusty Book Snippers, for some time in Nicole's neighborhood. And then Nicole is going to be sprinting for a fair few hours. And then that will direct you to Coda's channel tomorrow morning. So lots of sprints happening. We are having a really great time with these Tuesday and Thursday teleportation trains. And I hope you all are enjoying them too. Rainy has given in to the FOMO and is reading The Housemaid on chapter 24. Took notes at the end of every chapter so I know what's going on. So I can read Miss Parrish after in Compare. I'm excited to hear what you think. To be honest, I could compare this to a couple of thrillers. I think it's because it's quite tropey. There's a couple of comp titles that I would easily compare this to. I don't want to because I think... That is where I'm getting my ideas for how this ends. So I don't want to say them now because they might kind of be spoilery comp titles, but I have some ideas. Hello, Dee Dee. I'm glad you arrived safe and sound. Also, let me know if you're joining us for The Housemaid. If you're not, that is totally fine. Let me know what you're reading. I'm sure you told Leandra, but I was only there in and out today because I had a lot of other things going on. So I was in, but only only in bits. So let me know what you're doing because I need to know. Hello, Jess. Determined to get some big pages read in the stand today. You've got this. You've got your coffee. You're hunkering down. We got lots of sprints. As Leandra said, let the sprints continue. That was a bit of travel, but I'm glad to be here. Welcome. Hello, Glenda. And Bronwyn is here. Did read two chapters before these sprints started. Very nice. Already getting a good chunk in. Hello, Julie. I saw that in the Discord that you finished at first bite. Now I'm working on Kindred making dinner for the first sprint. Hello, Sadia. How are you? Hello, Jess. Welcome to Brittany Berg. We really leaned into the alliteration on the sprint train. I'm not going to lie. Hello. Hello. You made it. I'm so sorry. My dogs do not want to come inside. That's fair. I'm still working through the hellos. So I told oh you I was the hellos, but I haven't done that yet. Um, but you know, we're working on it. <laughs> it's fine. 
Um, hello, Maggie. Working on a practice report. Crystal's excited to finish the housemaid. I told them that we put our envelope guests in the Discord, so we'll see if we're right. We're both convinced that we are, but yet also cannot be. So, I mean, apparently we're not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> might be. Which, which makes it seem like it's going to be even crazier. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so excited to finish this one. I need to know. I did not diligently close my book. I read the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. I did diligently close my book. I, I really didn't want to. I was like, do I have to start another book at work today? That sucks. See, I already had one going because I was working on the Alice Network. So I just kind of like bounced back over to that. That's fair. For the afternoon. That's fair. But see, I finished my other one yesterday afternoon. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's harder. That's okay. I have so many books for content. It's not a big deal. You're like, I have, I have options. I have options. <laughs> um, how to end a love story. I'm also reading a YA book called Kicked Out. Nice. Hello, Ro. How are you? Hello, Stacy. Excited to finish the book. Was laying in bed, kind of wishing I'd started reading it earlier so I could have finished it. I understand this. Um, I mean, once you, once you pick it up, you don't want to put it down. So like you can still finish it. <laughs> it is extremely bingeable writing. Um, it is in Bree's discord. Yeah, I can send, I can put the link in the comments. Link coming to a chat near you. Maybe. Uh, have one theory so far. It's in Bree's discord. The link is coming. <laughs> Um, we put all the buddy reads for this because this is going to be a monthly thing. So you're going to want to be in Bree's Discord because we have like a place to chat about these buddy reads over on Bree's Discord. So we already have next month picked and we have June's picked, but June's is under lock and key because you need to know other things before you can know what June's is. True. But um, we can tell you May's at some point tonight. <laughs> Um, hello, Sarah. You're going strong with Fireborn. Still a lot of setup, but I'm still really enjoying it. Currently at 42%. Hello, Lexi. Just pulled into my driveway from work. I've been listening to the uh, In Between, and I'm not a crier, but this book has made me cry four times already. This book would not, I would not survive if this is the case. Because if you're crying, then I would be not okay. Need to get done with Akatar and get to my NetGalley books. Understand that. Um, no, I I should have just said hello, but I was just excitedly talking about what you're talking about and forgot to greet you. <laughs> it happens. Made it off the choo-choo train, reading my pages for One Dark Window before going to watch a show with my daughter before bedtime. That's lovely, Donna. Jess, I love that you kept going, and I love that Rainy just started the project full force. I mean, you know, it happens. It's fine. Um, yes, you are here at Brittany Berg, and yes, we do have Coda's Kingdom tomorrow. I was so excited to hear this. Uh, Nicole's Neighborhood Book Club is meeting for Rebecca. This is true. They're going to be reading Rebecca on uh, Nicole Sprints tonight. So we are going to do one-hour sprints. And usually we talk for about 30 minutes. Sometimes it's less, or rarely. <laughs> the first one is usually 30 minutes. The subsequent ones are 15 to 20. Yeah, we, we tend to be around 30 over here. Um, I do a hard 30, though. So wherever we are in the comments, when it hits 30, we're going into a sprint anyway, just to kind of keep us on a, on a relatively productive evening. Um, was reading the Silk Love, I, or Sick Love. This, I saw this, uh, Sarah's book club was reading this. I, I knew that. We'll be filming tonight since I finished the book. <laughs> it's just, just finished it. It has kept us updated with no details, just with like, this is crazy. And I'm like, I want to know. Hello, Christina. I'm still working on rehoming plants, getting closer. Big springtime is here. Hugs with the like button. Thank you so much. Reading the City of Brass. Oh, Leandra got you to start it. Nice. We approve. On page 48. Hello, Jessica. Reading at the Wolf's Table. Whatever you think the twist is, it's not what you think it is. Okay. I'm okay to be wrong. 
I just feel very. I'd actually, I'd actually prefer to be wrong. I would rather be wrong because then it's too predictable. And because I'm if like, it's if, if we're right, then we predicted it like a third of the way into the book. Yeah, and considering everyone tells me this is crazy, I'm like, I don't see like the book is a ride. Like I'm like, there's no way I predicted something that fast. Right. There's no way. Um, fully went to look at the envelope just to know without any intention of reading. <laughs> That's totally fair. Um, yes, we love the Smut City sweater. This is my merch. You can go to my channel and you can get one of these. It's true. I have a lot of Breeze merch. I love Breeze merch. Their um, sweatshirts are just so comfy. Are so like bonkers. honestly, book merch is half of my wardrobe. I it's I get out of my work clothes and I immediately just go put a sweatshirt on. Agree. <laughs> I do the same. Bonfire merch is so comfortable. It really is. Um, I just wish it held up and wash more. Because this is about yeah. a year old and it's starting to get like not as soft on the inside. Yeah, that's true. Just grab dinner and reading Empire of Gold and reading manga for 30 and 30. Nice. Hello, Bethany. Might have finished the housemaid before work this morning. <laughs> um, Bethany, what'd you give it? Let us know. Right. We need to know the deeds. Um, hello, Zoe. Uh, back to Deja dead for me. Hello, Coda. Just bought three Frida books. Which one should I read? As I've already read The Housemaid, I have The Locked Door, The Teacher, and One by One. Well, not, this is my first one. Not The Locked Door. That one I DNF. Okay, pass on that one. This is my first Frida, so I have no idea. So maybe the chat will help you better. Because I think this is... The first free to breathe. The teacher is her newest one. Oh, is it? Yes, that's her 2024 release. Oh, then I'd say that one. It reads so fast. So fast. Mm -hmm. It's very bingeable writing. So far, we're very like we're enjoying it. It's very mm -hmm. bingeable. I'm waiting for something to happen at this point. Like, I feel like we're right at the precipice of where it starts happening. But also, where is the, when's the last time you gave a five, a thriller five stars? None of this is true. And that was what, last year? Oh, yeah. No, I haven't got one this year. Yeah. I think The Collective was my last five star, and that was January of 2023. Yeah, late last year, I would have done None of This is True because I would have, well, no, that would have been like June. <laughs> so not late I've last given year. a lot of four stars. Oh, well, no, even um, The Second Night Swim wasn't. Um, no, I didn't give that five stars. that one five stars. No, me neither. So yeah, the like, so like, that's the thing. Like, I just, I don't oh, give thrillers five stars. I gave Sadie five. Okay, that's fair. And that would have been, that I got in just before St. Martin's Press went on strike because I would have had to pull it from that vlog, but that vlog right. went out like a week before. So like November, but like it's Sadie. So fair. <laughs> um, hello, Rye. But you're right. We don't give that many out because we've seen so many things at this point. Um, we need train merch. This could be, this could be a thing. Teleportation train merch could happen. I'll start the comment so I can mention it to uh, Leandra and Vanessa and, Nicole and, and Coda. <laughs> like, who else is part of the train? We're getting larger and larger every week. Great. Um, I feel like at this point, who sprints midday on Wednesday? And right. that'll be the next step. Go after Coda. Anyone? I, well, I think Nell is after Coda. I don't know if Coda's sprinting that long. Oh, I don't know. Because Coda's starting at like 10 a.m. Oh. Well, knowing um, that group. Probably. We could almost go to Nell, though. <laughs> we need about one more person, and we could get, we could get to Nell. Um, hello, starting the Dictionary People, which is about the people who helped create the Oxford English Dictionary. Interesting. Um, everyone said, "Okay, we've got one to read one by one," and I trust Rye to tell me to read some. Rye so has read like so many Frida books that, like, she is the Frida expert. Um, the teacher is very taboo. Oh, that's good to know. Just run and read your envelope guess. And it's exactly what I think is going on too. <laughs> but like I said, I'm kind of hoping to be wrong because if it's so that. Maybe if it's right. so obvious, maybe, maybe we were overthinking it and we were like, oh, this is twist. Like this is twisty, but maybe it actually is an overlap. 
100%. I said this in my vlog update today. I was like, either I have guessed it and it's super obvious or I have fallen for the red herring, which is very possible that I have. And I would almost prefer that to be true. Um, like the teacher, but need to kind of have a good idea of the taboo before going in. Okay, good to also know. Also rise a teacher, so that, that could probably have, may, may have been a little bit too valid. close to home. <laughs> That's a valid point. Um, love all day sprints, right? Isn't it fun? It's really fun to have all the all the sprints on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, have been in a reading slump since March, and I convinced myself that the only way out of it is to join sprints, and so far it's working. I literally cannot read without sprints. So no. totally fair. Hello. No. Have you? Uh, no, no, I own it. I think still, maybe possibly. Um, I've heard that the first half is good. I think Rainy also answered this. Like the first half is good. And the second half is like absolute complete bonkers in a bad way. Oh. Like it just, it, it loses the plot. Okay. Yeah. I like my thrillers to be believable, but mm. Vanessa gave it five stars, so it might be something I have to check out. I'm going to star it, Vanessa. Still trying to land on a rating. It definitely reminds me of another very popular book, but it was a fun time. Bethany, message me privately what book you think, because I'm wondering if it's one of the ones that yeah, I, I got two in my head <laughs> me too. that are comp titles. So well, and I have another one that you haven't read yet. Oh. We were talking about it last night. Oh, yes, you're right. So Bethany, you have to message us and let, let us know. Uh, went to the bookshop for the inmate and came out with all the others they had. <laughs> Sadly, the inmate was out of stock. There um, is an Amazon three for two going on right now. And a lot of Frida's books are on there. Oh, that makes sense. So there are a lot of them are on KU too. There are also a lot of them are on KU. Mm -hmm. But honestly, her covers are really cool. It's kind of like Darcy. Was, I was like, oh, now I want to like start buying them when I find them cheap. It's true. Um, this, this is true. Eventually we'll just have the whole week where we just like bounce the entire week through. <laughs> that might be a bit excessive, but you know what? If you want it, I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> there um, are enough of us here. <laughs> I feel like we can definitely do that. Um, mine is just at Brittany loves reading. So I'm Brittany loves reading everywhere just to make my life easier and for consistency. And I think you are the same at four balls and a books everywhere. Yes. But on Instagram, it's the number four. Not oh, out. there you go. It was too long if I spelled it out. Oh, that's fair. Oh, that would be good. That would be good merch. <laughs> the sprint tour. <laughs> you oh, could God. make it like a band, t uh, like a band tour. Like a band t -shirt. T yeah. Mm -hmm. With like the list of the locations on the back. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that idea. Um, going to sprint till four Eastern, which is 30 minutes before cat starts. Oh, well, there you go. Then we can just move to cat. I love this. Um, we are at the end of chapter 33. Um, so if it's 4 PM Eastern standard time, it's 5 PM for me Add 12 hours and you're going to get to Australian time. That's <laughs> so a 6 good way AM, 6 AM. Um, 12 hours or 13 hours, 13 hours. That's now that the time changed. 13 yeah. 13 hours. So 7 a.m. Maybe. I don't know. They're scheduled. So YouTube will do that calculation for you. If you go look at CODA's channel, <laughs> that's my best guess. Um, same. The change is so good. Five. CODA also gave it no, five stars. Yeah. I want to know what books you're both thinking. We can let you know. We won't do it on the live stream just in case people haven't read it, but I can message you. That's totally fine. Um, uh, the free to books in the works in the UK are three for six. Nice. All the sprints. We've got you covered. <laughs> Listen, booktube said I can't read without sprints. And we said we got sprints. Hold the phone. We've got you covered. <laughs> you want sprints? We'll give you sprints. You want sprints? All we have them all the time. <laughs> it used to be that that only happened during like readathons. I know. And now it's just like, there's just always sprints. Yeah. And usually there's overlapping sprints and we can sprint top. Like there's so many sprints now. Um, oh, the teacher was only five pounds. Nice. That's good, probably because it's new. Um, we'll not be sharing what it reminds me of with you because I want to see if you come up with the same one. <laughs> That's mean. 
okay, <laughs> I will wait. Um, well, there you go. Or we can just go to cats too. I yeah, didn't know this printing. Yeah. Choo choo. <laughs> I need to get like a sound effect thing for like a train. There you go. I'm sure YouTube have, has one that you can upload. Probably. YouTube has all of the sound effects. So it does really IMV. It's true. Hello, Kirsty. How are you? Uh, want to check your envelope, but I'm not in the dead Discord currently. I put the link in there. Yeah, the link is somewhere here. I think I passed it already. It, yeah, it's up at the top. Um, hello, Rachel. How are you? Sprints forever. <laughs> yes, right. Yes, right. Because we want to see your face again because we miss, we miss you. you. <laughs> we know that you have three small kids and are very busy, but we miss you. And you're a teacher and it's spring. <laughs> like we, we realize that. But like Maybe in the summer. This is true. Summer is coming. Uh, yeah, continuous sprints all week. I feel like we could do it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll just go head over to cats. I love that. Um, as in, same, same. This is how I socially talk to people. It's true. Because the thing is, is like you can turn your camera off and you can go do your own thing and you can like recharge a little bit and then you come back onto the chatty bit and then you're great. Mm -hmm. And like, it, I know that it does take social energy to talk to my friends on the internet, but it just takes less. It takes less. Much, much less. There's much less masking that has to happen. Much less. Also, we're all neurodivergent, so we don't have to mask as much. 100%. We're like all- Like the amount of masking I did at work today, so much. Yeah. yeah. We're all <laughs> used to our neuro spicy selves here. Exactly. <laughs> it's great. Um. Working on Patreon bits and I've spent all day just gorming. I feel like that cannot be the word. But it's a cool word. But I like it. You know what? We're going to go with it. <laughs> Out in front of the TV watching 911 Lone Star and you're obsessed. Mm. Have you watched the original 911? I tried to get into Lone Star after I caught up on 911 because Cal made Cal was obsessed with 911. I it went, oh, it can't be that great. And I'll watch an episode. And then a week and a half later, I had Did you watched watch the most recent episode. Not this week. It's the only one I haven't watched yet, but I know what happened because I could not go anywhere on the internet without that being spoiled for me <laughs> immensely. Like, I opened up Instagram and immediately I went, we did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it, everyone. But, but Lone Star, in its defense, Lone Star is not nearly as good, but it no. does have Rob Lowe and he is pretty to look at. This is true. <laughs> Very valid. I have not watched all of Lone Star. I think I did the first three seasons and then yeah. I kind of. Rob Lowe is just pretty to look at. <laughs> this is the most Leandra common ever, by the way. Which one? The one you just had. Join us, but also. But no also no measure. <laughs> <laughs> like I can hear her saying that. We love you, Leandra. Right, you need to come on sprints. Yeah, you need to. Anytime I'm on sprints and you are free, just message me. Same. You can always have a link. Same. Because I know that you're not always free. So, like, you come, you let me know, and <laughs> let me know when you're free. <laughs> um, love all the sprints. I'm a stay at home mom, and sometimes don't get much adult interaction. So it makes me feel like I'm hanging out with friends. Yeah. It's so weird sometimes to tell other people, though. No. Oh, 100 percent. So last week, so last weekend was Scattergorathon and one of my friends at work was like, Hey, so what'd you do this weekend? And I was like, Oh, I had a, I had a retreat with my Patreon. That's a great way to explain it. <laughs> I went on a retreat. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was like, I am not telling them I sat in front of a computer and, and read. While people watched me. Read. While people watched me. I was also retreat. read. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to explain to people. It is. Uh, would have pushed through to Nell, but I like joining cat sprints on Wednesday. Absolutely. Yeah. For Mad Libs. That's so fun. Um, they are really the best friends. No drama. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, we try not to have drama. Um, we have an icebreaker game. I just, that was the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, why am I the drama? Like, <laughs> Am I the drama? <laughs> am I the drama? I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was like, no. Um, luckily, that was fake drama, so like, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that was fabricated. We're okay with we're okay with that. Uh, we didn't, we didn't naps for neurodiversity. Yes, we love it. We're all a little neuro spicy over here on this side of the internet. I think. Um, hello, Jamie. About two hours to go. My audiobook of the Bell Jar. Good book. Not very long. Seven hour audiobook. Nice. 
We love a fast book. This is a word. Interesting. It's obviously not one that we say here. And But I love it. But I think it's great. Um, I think it's more of a UK, but means clumsy and lumbering. I'm going to adopt this for when I have zombie brain because I have this often with my anxiety some days, like where my brain's just like mush. So I and love I the thing that's this. happening now where people are saying like, oh, we're having a rot day or something like that. Mm -hmm. But then we were talking about, I was talking about this with my friend at work and we were like, but if you take your rot day outside, then you're composting <laughs> and that's productive. <laughs> I kind of love that. I was like, genius. That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's fabulous. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's because the neurospicy people attract other neurospicy people. Mm -hmm. And we're all friends here. <laughs> True. Um, neurodivergent and used to work in retail and would be so mentally exhausted when I came home mm -hmm. from having to mask all day. 100%. My mental health is so much better now. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, <laughs> we're so, we've sold, <laughs> y'all know we do well. We, we do. We do. Uh, no, you can always ask. Always. No. Um, hundred pages left in all now on a little life. Is it the little life? Is that what you're working on? That would make sense. Oh, -L -L. how's it going? How, how's it going? How's your mental health? <laughs> How are you doing, Coda? <laughs> this is your check-in from us. <laughs> um, haven't seen the original series. It popped up yesterday on my recommended on Disney. Immediately adored the LGBTQ rep. Absolutely. Uh, I do plan on watching 911 as soon as I'm done with Lone Star. Yes, I the highly original, recommend it. The original one has a sapphic established marriage mm -hmm. um, and then seven seasons and we get a we get a bisexual character <laughs> that I literally opened Instagram and I think I must have opened to two cows you must have. <laughs> and went what happened I didn't even I didn't even see that I just saw the close story of we did it <laughs> like yeah, she had a close funny. Like her close friend story. And it was just like, we did it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> because I told Cal, I said, just so, like, I can't watch them until Fridays. Mm -hmm. Because like, we have Hulu, right? We don't, I don't watch them live. Right. And so I was like, honestly, I just check your Instagram story. And if you're okay, then I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> then it's good. Then it's good. Cool. I was like, we haven't killed Bobby. So we're good. <laughs> After that last few episodes, I was like, they are not going to do this to me. The only reason I knew they did this is because I had read an article that he had done about saying that he wanted to be in it for several more seasons. Oh, good. Because I, <laughs> I was like, like oh, good. You're not dead. Do not. I was like, do not do, do this. Do not kill me. Bobby. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, we read that in Leandra's voice. <laughs> Same. We all are like, yep. <laughs> Uh, trying to explain booktube and friends to people can be so awkward. Told my brother the other day I have plans with my friends and he just did not understand that online friends are legit. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. People are like, you're hanging out with people online that you've never met. And I'm like, well, I see them more than you. So like, they're Truly. really my friends. Um, hello, Jean. Currently I have a book hangover from reading Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. That's a and, dense and, book. That's, that's a heavy book. Mm-hmm. Um, we live in a town we grew up in, so he has all his childhood friends and hundreds of people he knows here. I have zero people in this town, so my online friends are my social life. I totally understand this as it's a person. It's also hard to meet friends in real life because, see, when you're here, you're like, hi, I read 200 books a year. And they're like, same. Right. You say that in real life, and they're like, are you okay? <laughs> it's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, go to uh, housemates are getting used to the idea that I join virtual wine and book parties on Wednesdays, but they're still a bit baffled about the whole booktube sprint scene. I think you have to kind of experience it to understand it. You do. Because trying to explain it to people, it's it's hard. Um, we know each other and draw to each other without even knowing it. Absolutely. Big fluffy tail is fluffing behind Bree. That's <laughs> Doyle. <laughs> I cannot get over what a different dog. Doyle looks like after his haircut. He does. I was like, where did Doyle go? <laughs> we cut off a lot of hair. Lots of Doyle <laughs> um, is gone. Okay. We are going to stop the comments there and actually get to sprinting because we've been chatting for 30 minutes. So I'm going to star those and we will return 
in an hour after finally getting off this cliffhanger that we left off on last night. So I will see you in an hour.
Hello. How did everybody do? When you, I, say, when you say this book is bingeable, I read 75 pages. Holy crow. <laughs> Where, where are you? I'm on chapter 48. Oh, yeah. You're past me. Um, I'm on 45. Okay. Yeah. Like in the middle of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how, how, what else to say about. It's, it's very bingeable. And I, and I could comp it to like seven other thrillers. Which I think just goes to show that it's super tropey. That's exactly what it means. And I think that's probably why she's so marketable. 100%. And not that that's a bad thing. I'm not saying that is a bad no. thing. Tropes are popular for a reason. Right. <laughs> so, like, go to town. But I think, like, people that don't read a lot of thrillers will like these books. And people that, like, like the tropes will also. Yes. Which is a good thing. Absolutely. I totally agree. But that's, I'm kind of sitting at the same place I was sitting yesterday of like, it's really easy to read. Yeah. And I I'm, feel like, I'm, I feel like nothing time. has like, been, I'm having a good time. I feel like nothing's been surprising yet. No. Um, but there's been a couple of like gross things. <laughs> Never gonna look at my hairbrush the same way. <laughs> Had. I was like, mm. oh. <laughs> I eat dinner then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you know, it's fine. Um, I'm just scrolling back up to where we missed some hellos before we went on the chat or the sprint, not the chat. The other thing that we do, you the know, other thing. the other part. Um, oh, I went too far. Or did I? Did StreamYard have a heart attack? That's what happened. I was like, I went past my star. There we go. Um, hello, Alicia. How are you? Um, just joining. About to get dinner. Spaghetti birthday girl's choice. That's fun. And then reading The Age of Witches. Although I might switch because I'm not enjoying it. And I already voted for this because this came in right as we were going into a sprint. And I voted Icebreaker, obviously. You might as well see where you land on Icebreaker Gate. You might as well decide who you agree with. Uh, Penelope is also here having a very slow a month on reading. You know what? Sometimes that happens. I uh, guess I'm balancing things out after reading so much last month. Seriously, because I read like 30 books last month. 31, 30, something stupid like that. An unnecessary amount. It's okay. You're just getting ready for June. Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> That's, that's what cold miss was warm up <laughs> that's what we did i'm almost caught up for cold miss i'm very proud of myself i've been working very hard i have two more days if i read two manga tomorrow and two manga on the day after which oh, would yeah. be thursday I, I know days of the yeah. week um <laughs> i will be caught up so this will make it one behind and then if I finish Shifter, Slaying the Shifter Prints, which I thought I was going to finish today, but I saw like two and a half hours left of mm -hmm. the audiobook, um, that would put me caught up. Nice. So if I pick something short tomorrow, which I won't because Libby's about to take one of the books for my Loki vlog. Mm. <laughs> so it's fun. Which, speaking of, should we tell the people what we're doing next Tuesday? Sure. We're talking about cult miss? Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm next Tuesday. You're like, what are we ha what are we doing next Tuesday? <laughs> so um, if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, Colmas is something that Bree started because um all of us have no chill and decided to read 30 books in 30 days because Bree asked us to. And mm -hmm. um that's what happened. And we started a <laughs> cult, and then we said that it was the first day was cult miss, and now we are 30 days in almost. We are almost there. It ends Monday. Yeah. It ends Monday. So Tuesday night, you will have all of the cult miss survivors um, here. Even the one from Germany. <laughs> she took the next day off of work. <laughs> the dedication. And we are going to be having sprints with a pizza party. So you know what? They're going to be unhinged. because There might not be a lot of reading. There's going to be so many of us on here. And they are literally 
the most chaotic booktubers I know all in one spot. <laughs> I literally thought of it and went like, oh, getting through comments is going to be fun. We are not reading. Oh, we're, we're going gonna- to. I'm gonna keep you guys on. We're just, on we're just gonna turn into the um the the ne- the, the sprints after dark. <laughs> I'm I'm going to treat them as preparation for amazing readathon is right. what I'm going to treat them as. It's like right. how do I have all these people on screen and also get through the comments? This is my this is my Everest. Everyone yes. next week. <laughs> <laughs> because the night before will be the last night of Coltmas, so we're all gonna be cramming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be done reading. Not really, because I have content to put out. So, like, we will still be doing 30 minute chats, and I will be putting us in, and I will be clicking through those comments and just, we'll just <laughs> like, that's great. That's time. great. That's great. Great book. Great book. <laughs> we're going to be having a good, we're going to get through it, and we're going to have fun. And uh, come with your pizza, everyone. You don't really have to eat pizza with us, but like, if you want to. But we're all eating pizza. We're going to all be having pizza and having fun. So, like, you know, that's happening next week. Uh, be prepared for the most chaotic sprints that have ever been on the uh, internet, most likely. Because um, I don't remember the last time we were, I don't think we've all been together on a stream. Maybe during Amazing last year? Potentially during Amazing, but that would be it. Like, I would imagine Face Off Weekend at some point. Yeah, that's true. We probably did at some point. Those were on It's true. <laughs> Again, we're prepping for Amazing Readers on. That's what we're going to be doing. Also, sorry, I'm just unboxing absolutely gorgeous books over here. I love that for you. Are you going to share? Peter Pan retelling. <gasps> I think it's gay, too. Uh, excuse me? I found it on the TikTok shop. Actually, oh, I, I bought love this that. one specifically, and then it was like, if you spend $10 more, you get $20 off. And I was like, okay. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> it was like TikTok, like TikTok was giving me like a 25% off but you had to spend $40 and this one was like 30 and I was like, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> also, while we're just chatting, we've had Jen up on the screen for a while. Hello, Jen. Thank <laughs> you for joining us. Uh, reading Anxious People for my book club tomorrow. Currently not a huge fan, but uh, hoping it'll get better. I am not. This is Sally Rooney, right? I'm correct. Or, oh no. Is this Frederick Bachman? This is Frederick Bachman. Yeah. Okay. They both have co- uh, close, similar titles. <laughs> Um, hello, Caitlin. How are you? 300 pages left of Lodestar. You will get through that. No problem. I have full faith in you. Uh, Beatrice is here. Thank you for popping in and hitting the like button. I know it is getting late in Portugal, but we appreciate it so much. And then we are at where we hit this. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's a sapphic hunchback of Notre Dame Phantom of the Opera crossover. Why are you reading all the pretty uh, retellings? Because it's it it was it was on TikTok, and I'm do, I'm using this one specifically for that judge a book by its cover thing. Oh, it was like I'm just gonna go find a fan row on TikTok because I have a lot of indie authors that pop up, but this this is the cover that I judged it on. Mm-hmm. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> I was like, say, say less. Oh, it's gay. Say even less. <laughs> I need no other information. I need no other reason. You've actually given me more than I needed. So <laughs> there you go. Um, good night, Dee Dee. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, oh, I love this. Getting your TBR ready for Timmy's TBR. I'm excited. Uh, see half, half of the pages of Lodestar got done in that sprint. We went from needing a hundred to getting 154 pages done. So I knew you could do it, Caitlin. I had full faith in you. Um, sleep deprived, but don't want to sleep before Nicole. Cause then I won't be there for, uh, here. Cause time zones are funky. You can always do the rewatch too. We don't, we appreciate rewatching the sprints very much, um, as well, because it is 2 AM there. So if you are getting tired, we understand needing to duck out and you can certainly rewatch them. Um, interesting twist. Where? <laughs> Um, in the book. I know where in the book. I think they're thinking about with part two, so with what happened at part two. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what this is for. Probably in regards to the 75 pages that I read. Oh, that could be. I was like, I have no idea what this comment was from. <laughs> um, I just like had it on. I was like doing some stuff with Bonfire. Mm-hmm. And cause they changed all my prices for some reason. Oh, I was like, why is this the, the weirdest price ever? <laughs> weird. So I went and changed them. I'll have to check mine. So then I was just listening to stuff. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. 
uh, didn't read, clean the bathroom and litter box, took a shower and halfway through cooking dinner. Nice. Chicken and rice bowls. That sounds delicious. That sounds good. I think that's what I said too, Vanessa. I think we're twins. You said 45. Did I? Yeah. That's true. I did say 45. Um, if you see me reading book two tomorrow, mind you, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll probably try to read it at, well, like after I get through my content, but I do want to do, I do want to, I want to catch it. up to Neva and Katie. Yeah. We need to talk to them. Mm -hmm. we, do need to talk to them. we do need to talk to them. We do need to talk to them. Sprint sleepover. Um, For reading sure. chapter 35. Nice. Rainy, you're flying to catch up. It is so fast and like quick pace. It really is. Uh, read a bit of my book and got slightly distracted. Totally fair. Haven't read, but I will be now. Nice. Ry, did you tell us what you were reading? You may have, and I, I may have forgotten. I think so. But I don't remember. Although it's possible that I've just forgotten. But I think she's reading a fantasy romance. Ooh. Fun. We're all, we're all trying to get ready for a polycon. That's fair. Totally fair. When is that? The end of the month? Mm-hmm. Mm. The 27th, I think. I don't know. I leave on the 23rd. No, that's fun. Everybody's yeah. going to see each other. I know. That's so fun. And Cassidy and Claire and Mel and Lexi and all the people. All the people. I can't wait to see all the vlogs. It's going to be fun. Did some editing and didn't realize I caught a clip of my cat having what I believe is an asthma attack. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, that's good, though. I mean, and you know what? It may have worked in your favor because now you can be like, look, this is what's happening. Um, speed reading and honestly reads so quickly. Well, I just have it on the audiobook. Like it's <laughs> and because thrillers are so easy to listen to audio because mm -hmm. you can't like zone out, especially in the second half of a book. Yeah. Well, and I feel like it's just easy. This one is really easy to listen to while you're doing other things because it's not too like your mind doesn't wander with this. No. So you can really I, the narrator is really good. However, I kind of wish there was a male narrator. Especially in these flashback scenes. Mm -hmm. I I see your point on that. That would that would be my only suggestion. Mm -hmm. uh, ate dinner, gathered trash to be taken out, and getting the kids ready for bed. Seventy one percent of the bell jar. Still a good book. Definitely need trigger warnings. Okay, good to know. The rest of it was a TV and snacks. But I'm off to bed now. Good night, Kirsty. Yeah, two a.m. Absolutely, head to bed. Uh, supper sprint for me, read one chapter of Deja Dead and negotiated peace after my daughter kicked my son in the face by accident. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad that the peace has been brought. Um, ate dinner and took a shower, finding a headache. Oh no. I'm sorry, Julie. I hope you feel better soon. Um, so bingeable and not at all original. I think, yeah, if you read a lot of thrillers, you're going to be able to comp this to so many different thrillers. Oh yeah. Um, but that's just because it is tropey. I don't think it's necessarily like stealing bits. I think it's just so tropey that it's just lines up with so many things. Um, listening while walking my dog and making weird faces regarding the hair stuff. Right? I was like, oh, oh. I love how you were grossed out. I was just eating pretzels during that time. Like no big deal. Yeah. I'm Why I think body horror grosses me out, I don't know. Because clearly I'm unaffected by such things. But maybe you should read Fantastic Land. Maybe I need to try it. I do think I, I would I would be very interested to see what your thoughts are because it is gory and stuff, but it's not supernatural and it's not horror. Mm -hmm. It's people. It's like very psychological hmm. because it's people at the end of their rope. Okay. Doing absolutely atrocious things. Right on. Yeah, that might work for me. It depends. I, you never know with that kind of stuff if it's going to work for me. If it's weird, then I then it loses me. Yeah, no, there's no supernatural element to it. It's and like that's fine. It's surviving a hurry or like after a hurricane in an amusement park. Oh no, that'd be fine. Yeah, that's fine. There's just there's just a lot of blood and like cutting off limbs and. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. That doesn't bother me at all. Um. Good morning, Nicole. This is where you will go when we are done. This to Nicole. Um. I'm in the middle of chapter forty-five. I'm on forty-seven, forty-eight. Something like that. Yeah. 55% <laughs> into Fireborn and really liking it. This is the most un -YA, YA book. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Also, if you like it, Chaos and Flame by Tessa Gratton is also another like similar book. It's not, it's not as good. 
So don't read it right after. <laughs> Give space. Give it some space. But it does have similar vibes. It has dragons and it has a revolution. Hmm. And the second book in the duology comes out in May, I think. Nice. Um, good night, Donna. Have fun watching TV with your daughter. Jess also had dinner. Grilled chicken with chicken that we processed on the farm today. Mm. The experience I'm glad I was at work for. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. You're like, I don't need to know how that is made. <laughs> like, I don't need to know. Uh, got dinner and churros and finished Tamed by Rebecca Witherspoon. Very nice. Did you like it? Yeah. We don't want to talk about it because it would be somewhat spoilery. So we'll just leave it there. Technically, it's not even hairbrush. It's just hair. It's just hair. Yeah. Um, in the middle of chapter 47, I agree. I think a lot of people who made her popular were normal people who read a book once in a while, not as crazy people. This, read this feels like a here. book that you pick up at the airport. Yes. Yes. Never going to catch up with Cult Miss, but I'm going to give it my best shot. That's okay. You tried. That's all that matters. I have to read three books a day. <laughs> you can do it. I, I mean, I have faith in you. <laughs> Listen, uh, um, Allie Hazelwood's novellas are separated on Goodreads. So you could just use that it. information as you will. This is true. Uh, chapter 53 of The Housemaid. I've got about an hour left on the audiobook. I'm curious to find out how she makes this a series. We were reading the synopses of the other books and they don't seem to be connected. Now, someone who like has they seem the to other be book, connected in a grander scheme. Yes, like in a grand, like in the same way that companion romance novels are connected. <laughs> um, that's fun. I think this is the pizza party. Sign me up. Uh, the pizza party will be next Tuesday. Same time as the sprints, just next week. Um, you know, we may, <laughs> cult miss, people would like to make it a thing, Brie. <laughs> it was more just a, oh my God, I have so many books I need to read for vlogs. Please, someone hold me accountable. True. <laughs> it was not meant to become a thing, and then it did. It was not. It was me and Margaret, originally. And then I was like, hey, I know other people that also have a bunch to read for, for content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. <laughs> and pizza. And then I think Aoife uh, messaged Jess and said, hey, do you want to be in a cult? That's literally the message that was sent to Jess. <laughs> and Jess went, sure. Sure. <laughs> like, absolutely no context. Just, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be chaotic next Tuesday, for sure. Uh, Y'all might break the internet. I'm here for it. You know what? Uh, let's do it. I would love to have that many people here. Um, I may have a panic attack, but, like, let's... <laughs> That's okay. Um, you're tired here in tar prep, honestly. This is so true. Um, yes, we have all the sprint hosts for Amazing Readathon, correct? Yeah. Uh, not the type of person to read trailers. And even I think this book has uh, too many tropes. Yeah, it's very tropey. Definitely. But I feel like thrillers, when they're really tropey, are just more fun. I think it works. I'm not saying that in a bad way because like, I think I feel like when you have too many tropes in a romance, it's a bit much. Mm -hmm. But when it's in a thriller, you're just like here for it. I think it's why when I say it's super bingeable, I think it's super bingeable because it's super tropey. Mm -hmm. So like that has has its own plus sides, you know. But you're never gonna have a moment of like what? Yeah. Um, got book mail too. My people are the poppy war and a magic steeped in poison and venom dark and sweet. Nice. That's a good series. Um, Both kingdom of, of the first. Okay. Yeah. And empty. I love how all of romanticy is just something and something and something like it's, that's just what we do now. A blank of blank and blank. Exactly. Um, almost reads like an unintentional thriller parody for me. I can see that. I could see that. It's like when it's like a book that's like almost making fun of mm -hmm. Gone Girl type thing. Yeah, I can see what you're saying with that for sure. Um, you bought it on TikTok? I did. I follow like several indie authors or I like they just pop up on my For You page. And because the TikTok shop has gotten so popular, people have started putting their own books on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I did. Thanks. Um, finished recording two videos for my channel while I'm on vacation later this week. Look at you being a good booktuber, getting ahead while you're on vacation. That's amazing. Um, completed the assignment. Now you're just going to, for extra credit. <laughs> um, get to relax and start my book in the next sprint. 
Yes, you want to read Rebecca with them. That's fair. You could always take a nap maybe during one of our sprints if you wanted to. We love a nap sprint. We, we always approve of a nap sprint. Um, might put on Maze Runner 2. Wish I had a Polygon tickets maybe one Rainier. year. You don't would love feel, Polygon. don't. A Polygon is a mess and a nightmare and I'm oh, never really going back. Really? Yeah. Ooh, the tea. I have not been paying attention because obviously I wasn't going because like to go from Canada from here, like would cost yeah. a fortune. Um, also, then I would have to get a babysitter. Right, right, right. It would be like a whole thing. Yeah. There's so many authors that have pulled out, like some <gasps> big authors. Oh, no. Which is probably why some people were going too. So Yeah. Well, like I, even in the, like, in, cause I'm on in a couple of the Facebook groups and like someone was like, oh, Beverly Jenkins pulled out. She was the reason I was going. So. Oh, that sucks. Um, Rye is so excited for Polycon. Bree was one of my first friends. I met Rye during COVID. Wow. Because she did she did my very first Veda with me. Wow. Look at the booktube. Booktube friends are the best friends. Oh, a fate inked in blood. Only 14 pages left. I really hope you have muted us this whole time and read <laughs> pages. Um, didn't get Disney oh, no. marathon tickets today. They sold out by the time I got through the waiting line. Um, I haven't. I didn't know that this existed until it was there yeah. and I needed 10 more dollars to get more than $10 off. <laughs> um, hello, Jen. I am so excited to see you reading after the forest because I'm dying to read this book. So you have to keep me updated on, um, your thoughts as you're going through it. And I love that you're loving it because. I'm very excited for this book. Uh, put the living room back together. All plants are in their new homes. Just have to hang two. Worked on some sorting of the sun's clothes, trying to get rid of some, and then did some happy color supper soon. Christina, you did so much during that sprint. Hello. 50% into Night Watching by Tracy Sierra. Really liking it so far. Tried this Mountain Dew Baja Laguna Lemonade Soda. Not sure about it. I don't think it's a fan. That sounds like a lot of things all in one. Sometimes you can do too much. Seriously. Check. Yeah, I'm going to try this because I'm starting to be sold on it. So I didn't even try it. Um, I mean, the only people I hear are praising Fre uh, Freda's books. I feel like everyone colors. at least likes her books. I do too. I think they're, and I can see why. Like, I don't dislike it. Like, it's very easy to read. Like, I think if you're pretentious about your reading, you may not like it. <laughs> <laughs> like, also, I can see why some people well. wouldn't like it. Like, if you want to be surprised by a twist, and that's why you go into a thriller, then you're not going to like this. Right. But if you're okay to just kind of go for the ride you're going to enjoy this at least to a point. Like you might not five star it, but you're going right. to like have a good time with it. You know, um, Eve, if they didn't connect, she's going to make them to, uh, what are we talking about? Oh, the, making them a series. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, part two for the housemaid. Like the second one. Yeah. 7% into Addicted to You. Enjoying it. Hope you're liking the housemaid. We are. Agreed on the idea that it's just a bunch of tropes and doesn't feel original. It's fun because it's a new way to put the tropes together. Good time. Mm -hmm. But it was predictable once you see the tropes. Absolutely. Uh, love Frida till I started reading more. Now I like to read. That makes sense. Absolutely. This definitely feels like a slum killer. 100%. Because it is so easy to read. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll see how it becomes a series in the mm. end. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm interested. Ooh, just finished The Dragon Reborn. How did you like it? Let me know. This was one, 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 one Libby chicken. <laughs> I love that for you. Libby does that to us sometimes. Uh, my edition of Ooh. Kiss the Iron came today and it's beautiful. Also got news that my book of the month books, including Dragon Fruit, should be delivered this weekend. That's exciting. No. Oh, yes, I did hear about this. Isn't that you get like there's this like you get a book now instead of 15 hours or something like that? No. I think they were talking about the audiobook issue where like um 
they Spotify like then owns your book and they can make oh. they can make their own like fan fiction around it without paying you anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's not great. But they pulled that um that out of the contract. It's not in there anymore because oh, they got so much crap for it. I was not using Spotify for audiobooks because half the time I would be cut off half, mid book. Yeah, so I, like, I've used it like occasionally, but you get essentially one audiobook. Yeah, which is like I have to other short. places to listen to audiobooks that like it just doesn't make sense. Also, the like just the format of the of it is just not super user friendly. Mm -hmm. They need to work on some of the coding on it. Yeah. Um, hello, Gabby. Reading The Women by Kristen Hanna before I meet my book club tomorrow about it tomorrow evening. Are you close to finishing? Because I know that's a chunky one. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it just depends on if you want to try and be okay to not get in. You know right. what I mean? Um, it's been like four yes. years. <laughs> like, let me check in. I love that way of saying it, too. That's perfect. That is funny. Um, congratulations on your win. I started the shadow rising today. You did. I saw that you posted stuff in the discord and I still don't have the audiobook for it. So I'm just going to be waiting until Libby would like to release the audiobook to my person. Um, there's just a lot of authors dropping out. That sucks. Like they, when they sold all the tickets, which sold out in like four minutes, uh -huh. um, they had a ton of like really big name authors. Uh -huh. And so that's why everyone got excited about it. And then they all dropped out. Hmm. if there's a book on there they can, oh yes that's what Bree was just saying mm -hmm. um finished making dinner and I may just end up sitting here and eating all the guacamole I just made I support this life choice because I feel like guacamole is one of those foods that is just the most bingeable of foods it is so good hello Mel how are you Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb uh now it's time to get some breakfast don't mind them uh, like they aren't great literature, but as far as they are good for what they are, they make great car rides. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think, I think a good road trip book. Like someone said, this would be good to get out of a slump because it's so easy to read and just so fast. And like it captures your attention so quickly. Agreed. Like perfect. Oh, you would be up for a 30 and 30 part two. You, you know what? We may do this again. Not anytime soon because we are all very tired. Um, <laughs> Except that I will still probably be reading a book a day even after Monday because content. Mm -hmm. That's fair. But you don't have to. <laughs> That's right. Uh, read the teacher last month, gave it 3.75 stars and gave this one four. So not super surprising books, but definitely enjoyable and fun reads. I feel like the teacher, I like, I have that book. I just got it. It feels mm -hmm. a lot longer. Oh, is it? I don't know. It, it's a, it's a chunker. Hmm. I mean, it's in like one of the short paperbacks, so maybe not, but right. it feels chunky. Nice. I mean, what could be in a thriller that's chunky? It starts to get redundant. Yeah, that would be my fear with a chunky thriller. Mm -hmm. um, hello, Jess. Finished Senland Ascends. I absolutely loved it. Continuing rest. Rhapsody. There we go. I know words. Um, now, 66% uh, right now. We'll see. The night is still kind of youngish. <laughs> it is kind of youngish. We still have some sprints to go. Um, love Dragon Reborn. Can't wait for the next one. Favorite quote, pull yourself together, she murder. <laughs> yes. This is my first five star of Wheel of Time. Nice. This, this was really good. Um, which makes sense because we're like three books in. So like I know everybody. Well, not everybody because there's a crud ton of characters in this book and they just keep popping up like popcorn. Um, new people. And I'm like, who? <laughs> um, I've somehow done 30 and 30 the last three months. And we'll probably get to that this month as well. I do read wow. children and manga as well. Absolutely. Well, I did 30 manga in 30 days. I didn't do uh, books. But I do think I accidentally also did it with books. That's what I should count next. Yeah. <laughs> um, completely forgot about Wheel of Time. Runs away and hides in court. Good thing you already finished Housemaid. You have something to do tonight. <laughs> you know, just casually pick up. Which one are you on? The Great Hunt? Or uh, did you finish that one? I've lost track of where everybody is because we're now all on different books. I think she's finished the first one. Yeah, so that'd be The Great Hunt is the second one. Because um, we are literally all in different places. <laughs> That's the what's great about a Discord chat. Exactly. We just leave them up and then we can like pop into what book we are. Yeah. It works great. Uh, Read the X by Freedom McFadden was quite good. 
was ruined by a rushed ending. Oh, okay. I do hate a rushed ending. I'm okay. Thanks. We've had a lot going on. So I've been distracted. How are you both? We're doing good. We're about to go into another sprint in just a second, but we're almost at the end of the comments. That was good. Um, I know we, we planned that perfectly. Uh, still on the great hunt at 25%. Perfect. I'm just going to let the cat go at 49 seconds and I will see you then.
Hello, friends. I got to the end of 53. Okay. I'm on 58. Yeah. So about the same distance that we were last time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, okay. There is, <laughs> there is a book that I have read that is very similar to this book. And so even though that I think this was reminding, or at least from part two onward, it's very similar. It wasn't really similar of what we read last night. Yeah. But it's very, like, basically the same book. <laughs> You'll have to message me which one it is. I did. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Weird. You did? Um, you did not. Yes, I did. You told me you didn't have it. Oh, that one. Mm. Sorry. I thought you meant like you just did. Like, no, no, no. Just came no, no, no. Mind. No, no, no. It's basically the same. Yeah. Um. So, like, that's not a big deal. That's just because I've I've already read one so similar that it's like, you know, I've read it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's good. It is good. It's I liked that book. So like it's not a bad thing because I right. like that book. <laughs> yeah. That makes me think that the other one, this one is always comp to. Like, is that one also this could be same trope? You mean the Miss Parish one? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't read that one. I would assume that it is. Mm -hmm. Which one was written first? I'd have to go look. Um well, I know the one that you were talking about was written first. Yeah, because that's been that's, that's been a long time. That's a lot that's an old thriller. Yeah. Yeah. So I still don't think that this is crazy wild bonkers. No. Like I have 17 minutes left in the book. You're almost done. Almost I don't done. even have that much either. What do I have? Can't be that much. 40 minutes left. Yeah. So yeah. No. Um Yes, I knew this was written first. I meant of the one that I'm thinking of that I can't say on the onlines because it would be a spoiler. Yeah. Because from part two on, it's the exact same book. I mean, even in that first 100 pages that I read, there were some similar things. It was reminiscent. Yes, it was reminiscent. So, which is okay. Like, again, that happens in thrillers. That yeah. happens in a lot of thrillers. So I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying that in a, I, I'm not going to be as invested in this because I just feel like I've read it before. Mm -hmm. I feel like the the first half is very turn of the key. And the second I half is read. not at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like at all. <laughs> You're like not at all. <laughs> Yeah. So, but then oh, the I mean, second I, half is the other two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Part two is very much that. And there's another book that I said was very similar to the book that I'm thinking of. So, like, they're all, you could clump them all together. Right. <laughs> right Which there. is why I don't think that the like accusation of it being copy paste no. is true or you'd have to say they all copy pasted each other. Right. Mm hmm. Because, like, at the end of the day, Gone Girl was the one that did the crazy husband first. Mm -hmm. true. <laughs> true, true, true. So let me scroll back. So if you just see me not not score it as highly as maybe some other people have, that's the reasoning. Is that just I've read a thriller like this very, very similarly. Yeah. And when you read my envelope, guesses, you'll realize I was not far off. <laughs> no. <laughs> because... For the uh, said for 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 said reasons, you know. Um, okay, where were we? I don't even know where we were. I think we were here. Um, no reading for me yet. It's been noisy chores and editing, but at least you're getting the editing done, which is good, and the chores done. Um, and doing a boot scan of an old computer. Fun. I hate dealing with technology. I try to avoid it at all costs. Um, for anyone who didn't see me early yesterday, I, my computer decided to tell me that my password was not my password for a good four solid times of putting in the password. And I was like, but it is, I do this every day. <laughs> like, I know I'm correct. Would you like to catch up? Um, just ordered sushi. I love this for you. I love sushi. What kind of sushi did you get, Coda? Right. Um, two, two, 224 and finished Lone Star. Amazing. Nice. I knew you'd get it done tonight. 
cleaned up from dinner. Ellie came nicely for her brush and nail session. That's lovely. Shelby, on the other hand, did not. <laughs> you know, I that was our cat. Our cat was like, absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Hard pass. And I was Hard like, pass. Well, you, um, unfortunately, we do have to do this. Um, finally got my shells done. Moved the camera so I could film an outro. Battery died. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, got to chapter 49. Uh, this is getting rough. What kind of rough? Like that the book is getting rough or that your experience is rough? Because I feel like around chapter 49, 49 is a hair. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> there were things happening <laughs> in the book where it's like, mm. yeah. Um, back from visiting a friend, listen to two chapters in the limit book. Um, no, I'm not the hold on it for Libby. No, sorry, because I would cancel my hold if it would help you, but I'm not the hold. <laughs> I got to 63% of Fireborn, and I have to stop for the night, or else I'm going to stay up too late to finish it. Been there. <laughs> Hello, Steph. Just joined during the last sprint and read two pages of Ruthless Vows and loving it. Hit chapter 55. Vanessa and I have been like really close all night. Like we are like reading at the exact same speed almost. Six minutes from the end. And I agree. <laughs> Mute us. We're not important. A uh, couple chapters of HP3. Uh, I know what book this reminds me of now. I wonder if it's the same book. I'll have to. Yes, please do. Because I'm wondering if it's the same. I already messaged Bethany because Bethany wouldn't tell me what book she thought it was like. And I was like, is it this one or is it this one? Because I already compared those two together. So like, I will agree that it could be one or the other. Did she um, agree? Uh, she was putting the kids to bed. So she said oh. she messaged me after. Although I will say one is more like it than the other. But I did say those two books were very similar when I read them. So... I still think the one that I told you about is the most, like it's, it's bang on. Um, got about half an hour left in my book. I'm liking it a bit better, but it'll probably end up being a 3.5. You know what? A 3.5 is not a bad rating. That's a very average rating. I would even recommend some 3.5s to people, depending on what it was that I didn't like about it and what they like about books. Does that make sense? Because you've recommended books that you've given like a three star two to me because you know they're more yeah. Uh, finish the bell jar. Definitely good and fast read, but focuses on suicide and mental illness. Definitely something people should know about. Absolutely. Um, got to 75%. I think I can do this before tomorrow evening. I think so too. Because yes. you've read quite a bit of it tonight. Mm hmm. 38%. I don't want to stop reading, but I'm so tired. You know what? 38% is a good time to stop because, like, sometimes if you push yourself too far, then you get to a point where, like, there's just no way you're putting it down. You know, because you're at the mm -hmm. end and you're like, so if you're tired, this might be a good time. Come back to it tomorrow. Kristen Hannah really likes to put all the dramatic things in her books. True. So true. Halfway through chapter 56 and I'm enjoying myself. I love this. I'm enjoying it too. Like it's a fun thriller. I've just read it before. <laughs> but that's not, I, like I said, I don't think it's like a copy paste. It's just that with like this, it's hard to find thrillers that do something right. different. Um, it's very rare. The only ones that I think I would even count that I read last year that I would say, oh, these did something I hadn't seen before. Um, and I would actually not even say well, none of this is true. I just like the formatting of that book. It didn't really do anything exciting. It didn't do anything exciting. It, no, but I just liked the formatting of it and I got into the vibes of it. Mm -hmm. um, but Wrong Place, Wrong Time was one that I really liked last year. And I it feel did like something unique, did something different. <laughs> because it was a genre blend. Right, exactly. Well, mm -hmm. even like The Collective that I read last year, like it didn't do anything groundbreaking. It was just a feminist story. Right. Like one of those like feminist rage thrillers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck mm -hmm. the patriarchy kind of thing. <laughs> we love. <laughs> Both of us can get behind. Oh, did I read Happy For You last year? If I read that last year, then that one also. But again, that one was a just feminist rage thriller, which I, it, so I read it all in one night. Like it was so fast. Right. Um, so glad I cut up and wanted to read it. I got to finish Nettle and Bone after you do. Um, Love Miss Parish when I read it last month. I got approved for the sequel on Neck Ellie. I didn't even know it had a sequel coming hmm. out. That's cool. Hmm. Actually, I think I did hear that. 
I did not know that. Wasn't the book written a while ago? Like the first book? Three or four years, maybe? Mm. Yeah, I don't mm. agree that they're copycats. I just, I, I think she's very trope heavy. Yeah, I, I agree with this statement. And so it's That's very easy trope-y. to say, oh, it's like this book. Yeah. I think, and I think that happens in thrillers all the time where it's like, Mm-hmm. You know, she just puts um, a lot of tropes in, so it's easy to do that. Correct, absolutely. And this happened because there was a book that I did for I think it was Rainy, a Rainy Taste Test video, and Rainy loved it, and I would have loved it had I not read a thriller prior to it that did the same mm-hmm. twist. So because I saw the twist coming, it just didn't have the same impact as it did. And had I read those in the reverse order, right my my opinion would have completely changed of which one I liked better because it was just, it happens a lot of times with thrillers. It's the order in which you read them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, definitely a popcorn read. 100%. It did. Mine shift yesterday. I would like it to Mine rise too. now. Although I'm not reading it. Did you it get the one with the black spray edges? Yes. Um, I would like to arrive and I would, uh, not that I can read it right away cause it's being K book club book. So like, I have to wait for this month or next month, <sighs> ne- the month after. So June, 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 you should have picked one that would have fit better. Well, this was planned a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> before I knew things that I now know. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, just finished the housemaid. Give it three stars. I see how she plans to continue the series, but I'm good. Uh, one was enough. Yeah. I'm going to be interested to see kind of how it plays out at the end. I'll be curious to see if the second one is just a copy paste of her own book. Ooh, good question. I think it'd be interesting because you said the third said it could be read as a standalone. Yeah. So that's interesting. There are a lot of mediocre popcorn thrillers out there. This is very true. And I think it's different. It depends also on how many thrillers you read. The more thrillers you read, the more you have this kind of experience with thrillers. If you just pick up like one thriller every once in a while, I don't think you have that same experience, if you know what I mean. And I haven't read thrillers in a few years, but I used to read a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, no idea what the envelope guess meant for a minute. <laughs> oh, on the Discord. <laughs> it's over on Discord. Something that happened last night. Um, a while ago. I have no idea. I've never really? read a Jillian Flynn book. Really? Never. Not even Gone Girl. I feel like she was like the the pioneer of some of these tropes. Yeah. I didn't even like Gone Girl. <laughs> I haven't even read it. I think the movie was better fair but i just think that that lends itself there's just more tension like jillian flynn like her books are long Uh and so like it just that stuff just leans more towards a visual media that makes sense uh finish supper and listen to hp6 rough like i don't like the stuff happening but also rough like yeah this is just a standard thriller (laughs) but i'm enjoying it that's that's how we've been the whole time it's like it's very easy to read Mm -hmm. um I was ready to not like this book. (laughs) It's very bingeable. It's really fast. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just finished chapter 60. Um, Oh, whoever it was canceled hold and I renewed it. Yay. Because I know you were kind of nervous that you wouldn't get it done in time. So that's awesome. Um, I don't think I'll get to it anytime soon. I I will read it this year for Bookamon because I needed one. But like I'm not in a rush to get to it. Um, hello, starting Eye of the World tonight. Yay, I'm so excited for you. Got spoiled for Gone Girl, so I never read it. I liked one of her other books, Shark, Sharp, Sharp, oh Lord, Sharp (laughs) Objects. That was hard. Oh, you should have seen me. I wish I would have kept my uh, camera on as we were going, because I turned at the end of that sprint to get up from the chair and no word of a lie, there was a spider the size of my headphone case. Right I saw there. that in your Discord. It was right there, y'all. It was literally like policing me so that I could not get past my desk. And the jump scare that I had, and I wish I would have caught it on camera. Oh, ooh, that sounds like a delicious order. I support this. I mean, what isn't delicious when it's sushi, really, though? Right? 
uh, thought sharp objects was better than Gone Girl. It also has an adaptation you can reward yourself with. <laughs> Don't you love that? I'm never good about read it, watching adaptations, though, to be honest. Like, even um, Coda and I read Little Fires Everywhere earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And we started watching the show at the same time. I don't know if Coda finished, but I certainly did not. Um, and not that I wasn't enjoying it. It was very different from the book. They made, like, the characters were really different. I just, I feel like that's what it is. is recently, especially recently, they just take so many, so much creative liberty. It was the characters were written so differently. And I was like, that's not how Mia was in the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's like, she has a different personality, not in a bad way, but just in a, like, I would rather watch these more separate from reading the book. Like not right after. Uh, nonfiction is a bit much to binge. I completely agree. So I'm spreading it out to an hour to a day. Excited. Love sharp objects. Off to more due to bed weather. So let the late night reading commence. Well, luckily, we have so many hours of sprints for you. We've got you covered. Um, Amy Adams, Kills and Sharp Objects. Um, 2017. Yes. Okay. So that was a while ago to have a yeah. sequel come out. Yeah. Going to have to head out. Good night, Jen. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, pretty sure she wrote the sequel in response to the Frida scandal. That's what I've been hearing. But there's also a prequel. Interesting. Um, what? Bo, do, 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 do. Never lot. Never learn. Nope. Oh, they never learn. They never learn. No. Yes, that's the one. They never learn. I need to read that one. I what's think I would have liked it had I not guessed the twist like so early. What's the one that you uh, liked better? <laughs> the one with the twist? The same one that you DNF for this. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> that was the same twist. Gotcha. So I'd seen that before. And I was like, which is why the first part of this is not the same as the one that I right, saw. Right, right, Because <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> Um, need to read on girl. It's literally the mother of all of them. I have gone girl somewhere. I don't know where. It's in this house. Dying. <laughs> that movie is why Aaron won't see movies with me anymore. He hates it so much and is mad. I made him spend three hours watching it. <laughs> My problem with gone girl was just reading from the asshole main POV. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. But it was just because I guessed it really early. And then in, in that book, some books it's okay if you don't if you guess the trope and it doesn't really affect it, but in some books it really does. Right. Well, and didn't you read those like pretty close together? No, right years apart. Oh, okay. For some reason I thought they were pretty close together. Mm -hmm. No, I read the one that I can't talk about because it's basically the same as this. Uh it's also an SMP title, so like. Oh, there you go. Look, I don't want to promote it anyway. Read this one instead. It's the same book. Um, if you don't, if you want to support the boycott and you don't want to read that one, read this one instead. It's the same thing. <laughs> there you go, everyone. I'm doing things when I don't even know I'm doing them. There you go. I only know because all of their books are oh. turned backwards on my shelves. Fair. Fair. I, I say, the thing is, I know certain authors because, like, I've either went to pick up a book and went, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. You know, at this point, I'm soon going to just unhaul them all. I um, have like, so many of them. You did, didn't you, during your unhaul? Because I was like, I either am not going to read them because I can't read them for because I can't do content, mm -hmm. or I've already read them and I can't recommend them because. Right. That's totally like you fair. are wasting space on my shelves. It's totally fair. They're driving us crazy. <laughs> um, I just want to put my soccer gaze book on my shelf. That's all I want. That's fair. I want to read that. Because <laughs> I own it. <laughs> I and I should have just read it when you told me to read it. Is what This is what you should all learn. Is when Brie <laughs> tells you to read a book, you should read it immediately. Because <laughs> it might end up in a boycott. <laughs> there might be a boycott. And you will then stare at the pretty book on your shelf. And go, I would like to read that book, but I can't. <laughs> and I mean, I could. I could read it. But, like, who has the time? Yeah. Not me. Um, I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. Thank you for hanging out, though. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah. 
seems. Yeah, I like I immediately went back, went through and like turned all of my books around. It makes it very easy when you're trying to like pick books for um content. Like recommending and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or anything. Yeah, because I was like, mm, I don't even know what that book is right now. <laughs> like it's not in my line of sight. It doesn't it's not exist. In object permanent. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Which is so true. Um, before we go into what I believe will be our last sprint, should we tell the people what book we're doing for next month? And I'm throwing this to you because you are the one that told me the title and I have now forgotten. Yes. Do you own it? <laughs> no. Okay, I'll go grab it. That's why I'm throwing it to you because I I'm useless now. It just happens to be right here. Perfect. We're going to read Their Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. Apparently, it is like Squid Games meets The Bachelor. <laughs> This is what I was told last night. It was, what about this one? It's good. And I was like, say less. <laughs> we were like going it through and we we're like, oh, what about this one? Oh, what about this one? What about this one? Oh, that one doesn't come out until like the end of the month. Oh, this one is an SMP title. <laughs> it was a struggle, y'all. It really was. <laughs> like it was. That's why we were late to sprints last night. <laughs> we were. We were five, we were like like five minutes trying to figure this out. <laughs> so sometime in May. We don't know the dates. I don't know when. It'll be a Monday. We know the dates for June, but not May. <laughs> we do know the dates for June. Well, I don't. You do. I thought I told you. Maybe you did. There's it's possible like the that the tenth or the ninth and tenth or whatever that month that Monday Tuesday. Whatever the Monday and Tuesday. Let me grab June's too. Yeah, sure. Do you want them to know what June's is? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. I'm not gonna tell them why. They don't need to know why. In June, we're going to be reading Yours for the Taking by Gabrielle Korn. There you go. It's a dystopian sci-fi and it's gay. <laughs> I love how that's, uh, that's the description of so many books we read. We're like, and it's gay. It really is. <laughs> so, have you read, if you watch my best romances of last year, there was so many moments of it's sapphic, it's sapphic, it's sapphic. Oh, it's like what ninety percent of my book haul is. It's like I got this because it's gay. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with that being the reasoning. No, nope. there you go. Support um, queer authors. <laughs> We are literally every second. I'm like, all my favorite romances. I'm like, it's sapphic. It's gay. It's <laughs> Let's just say they're more interesting than the straight ones. I 100% agree. Also, I feel like communication is better and I don't know why. 100% <laughs> is. I can't put my finger well, on Well, no, actually, but... in sapphic ones, it is. Yes, in sapphic romances, which why most male, of my male? Sapphic, absolutely no, not. That's true. But if you notice, it's mostly sapphic. I do have a few gay ones, but sapphic is is ones that I do. <laughs> and that just tend. proves that men are the problem. One hundred percent. Women can talk to each other better. The best part about the soccer gay ones is that one of the girls is like she gets upset that the other person said something, and she's like, "Well, I'm not letting this go until tomorrow. I'm just gonna go over to her house and talk to her." <laughs> I love that. I want to make sure I didn't upset that's not her. That's shocking to me because, um, like, yeah, that's just like, I feel like uh, the fiance farce did that too. Yes. Uh, really well. Of like, okay, something has happened. I shall go and we talk. We shall go <laughs> and talk. And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Can we all just learn that we could just go, you know, this happened and I would like to clarify. Are you mad at me? Has something happened that we need to deal with? <laughs> it's a straight girl in the dating world, I concur. It's true. It's just true. Um, had to pause to go get the sushi. Brittany, I haven't finished the show either. Okay, good. Well, at least someday we'll finish it together, Coda. We should do like a watch along, Coda, of just you and me. And whoever wants to show up. Just so that we can get through it. Right. Okay, this is going to be our last sprint, but so that we don't do two long chatty bits, I think I'm going to make it a little longer. Is that okay? Sounds good. So I might do a 75. Sounds good. Um, and then we can just go right into Nicole. Well, like do a quick, you know, 15 minute chat and then we'll send them over to Nicole's. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Um, so this will be the last sprint on this channel. Then we'll come back, do a little chat, and then this will at automatically just shunt you over to Nicole um, with, I'm assuming Coda, because I think Coda's doing the Rebecca read-along too. So I'm going to assume Coda's going to be there. I could be wrong, though. 
Coda, tell us. Um, It'll be a party over there. Like. It'll be a party. And uh, we'll see you in an hour and 15.
I was reading everyone's thoughts in the Discord and was like, oh, the timer went off. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, you finished? I finished. Yes. What did you think? Uh, I'm gonna give it four stars. It's like right on the verge of three and a half and four. And I was like, but also I didn't want to put the book down last night. So it's gonna be a four. That's fair. I gave it a 3.5. Um yeah, I just, it was good. And I think the last chapter was the best part. <laughs> Dude, the mother-in-law? Seriously, like the ending of this book was the best part. The, um, okay, the, the mother-in-law was my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> She's so twisted. She's so twisted. She's so twisted. But also the epilogue is giving me like Finley Donovan vibes. I messaged you on Instagram after, before I saw that you posted that in the Discord and was like, oh, it's a Finley ending. <laughs> oh, I don't have my notifications turned on for. So um, that's I have time you. limits on my Instagram. So the notifications Same. stop after a while. I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't get your notifications if you messaged me right now either. <laughs> Um, but I was like, oh, it's a Finley ending. I can, that actually makes me more excited. It for does. Yeah. Book. Um, not because of that, but just because I feel like the second book will be a bit more, um, different. Yes. Than this one was. Yes. Um, I think it really lends to being very different. Cause I was like, oh, It'll I don't be a know. different story, but with the yes. same like strength. Yes, exactly. I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to continue. And that ending changed my mind. Yeah. I still would have continued even without it just because like, I think Frida is going to become my slump killer. Oh, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. So it may not have happened as quickly. It may not like it will, because I still want to read the third one with Neva and Katie. Same. And I feel like that'll just be such a fun time. So I, I still would have read it quickly, but like had that not been a thing, I would have been like, yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. But now I'm like, okay, I actually really, I want to read the next one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which so I, I mean, is a, is a sign of a good book. It is. It is. Yeah, for sure. It was definitely like super bingeable. The writing was super easy to follow. Mm -hmm. But I did feel like tonight I was like dragging a little bit for me. Um, See, I actually good. feel like tonight was not dragging. I think really? I, I feel like this like last night was too slow. Interesting. Isn't like I wish things would have started happening a little sooner because mm -hmm. I feel like tonight was like race card speed that's so funny maybe because i feel like i read this book already yeah i don't know that we can read it in june we have a lot going on in june in june i don't even know what we're talking about oh she's just commenting oh okay i'm like what in weird who like, we, have a lot, we have a lot going on in june <laughs> June is so packed. Oh, but Neva wasn't here when we talked about it, but we wanted to do um we want to do a, a housemaid sleepover and do and read the whole thing on sprints. One night, just one go. We need to do a group message with Neva and Katie. We do. <laughs> we need to actually do it instead of keep saying just that we're talking about it publicly in front of the family plus people. We forget to do it. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you've met any of us. We are not entirely um organized no not at all we pretend like we are but i don't know that we actually are we're really bad about i'm really bad about saying i'm gonna do something and then like four days from now remembering mm -hmm. well no not even four days from now four days from when we need to do it <laughs> hey did we talk about this oh shoot i just realized i had laundry going oh i forgot that's to throw good. it in the dryer oh no <laughs> That's the worst. I was like, oh, I started laundry when we got on sprints. Here's, here we are. This is us. <laughs> this is what we're saying. It's even yesterday during sprints on Patreon. You were like, we need to pick the May book before tonight. I was like, oh, I'll send you options. Cut to five sprints later when we were about to come on here. And I went, oh, I never sent you those options. <laughs> no. No, not one time. <laughs> I would like to know how exactly I ran Amazing Readathon last year. Because we hyper focus on certain things I and we're good that, about it. I really would like that hyper focus to come back. The problem is we can't choose what we hyper focus on. That's <laughs> the issue. That's the problem. I really need it. <laughs> You're like, I would like to submit a request so that my brain does Or the hyper focus. <laughs> 
It's hard, y'all. <laughs> Maybe, possibly, perhaps. I'm like, we need to message them like tonight so that we don't forget. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> I can do it too. One of us needs to remember. As long as one of us remembers, we're golden. Right. Yes. Neva, right now, while you're watching this, start a group message with me, Bree, and Katie and just leave it blank, but just so that we all remember about it. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, but you are also at work, so I don't know if you have time to do this as well. <laughs> I just read your message. But also, you're, you're probably more awake than we are right now. Truth. <laughs> True. Uh, finished with 10 minutes to spare. I gave it four stars. Not original in the slightest. No. I mean, it did give one twist. At, yeah, the end did. Yeah, but very bingeable and an overall good time. And I think it's funny because Rainy was trying to guess what book I was talking about in the last sprint and sent me a book thinking this is what it was. And I was like, no, it's not that one, but also that one. So <laughs> Wait, put it in the private chat. Which one did she think it was? So the fact that between all of us, we've come up with about seven books oh, that yeah. this is like. Yeah, that one too. That one's a couple though, isn't it? I don't know. I actually didn't read it, but Rainy told me it was like it. I'm pretty sure like the couple together is psycho. No, right on. <laughs> well, you could kind of make that statement here. <laughs> but they're separately psycho. <laughs> separately psycho. <laughs> right that was so creepy at the end she was a trip <laughs> I, he he should have learned honestly i'd follow her book in a heartbeat <laughs> like i want to follow this in this woman because she's got some issues of all of her own uh finished deja dead and getting back to sword catcher neva, oh here we are do it in go, june go I, down to the end neva the weekend that it comes out, or the weekend after it comes out, is Face Off weekend. So we might need to reschedule that. <laughs> we need to pick a different weekend. We need a bit of, of any of the weekends in June. It cannot be that one. Um, Mostly because I need you to do sprints in the middle of the night. <laughs> and also, we can't be 400 places at once. No. Um. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, and we did kind of exactly that. I went 3.54. It's just, you know, personal preferencing at that point. <laughs> but it is a book that you guys agree on. This is true. <laughs> Everyone, we now may have six whole books. That we <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I feel like on thrillers, we actually agree pretty often. Because, like, Jar of Hearts, we both love. Oh, yeah. Um, both love none of us is none of none of this is true. I loved it more than Rainy did, but Rainy did like it. Liked it, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, that's why you're doing it in June. I feel like we should do it in July because that also gives people time to get the audiobook for their library. You know? But also, if you guys want to do it that weekend, we can do it another week. But weekend. also, that's true because we're kind of trying to break into your already planned thing. It's cool. We can do something else. <laughs> <laughs> this is also true. Um, the second book, we will uh, we will get to know Millie better mm -hmm. when she's not hiding herself. I think that's why the first half felt weird. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think we just got to know Millie, like, in bits, too. Yeah. We're like now Millie's like kind of got her purpose in life. Now <laughs> she's Finley Donovan. I went. That's that's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> um. Good night, Courtney. Finished forty nine pages in Cloaked Deception by Tiffany Zane, an international spy thriller. Fun. Courtney, weren't you in bed? <laughs> You weren't going to go to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry you're not able to sleep. That sucks. Uh, back downstairs, have done some editing and more Patreon stuff prepped. I was like, wait a minute. Chrissy, what are you doing in my chat? <laughs> Although I have done this many a time to Nicole where I'm like, I can't sleep. So I'm hanging out with you. Hi. Uh, we're doing sprints the weekend after the release. Oh, yeah. I started a group chat. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. We love you uh we'll take that weekend off um six books you need two hands for that six books what six books i'm very tired for the fact that you and uh you and rainy like oh y'all it's, it's late it is 10 minutes to midnight 
my brain is only really functioning at about a 10%. And we stayed up so late last night. We like did. we sent you all off, but I did not get into bed until 1.30 in the morning. And frankly, that was much too late. <laughs> I I like I got off and I was like, dang it, I was gonna take a shower tonight. <laughs> We talked and even we kept even saying we were like, okay, we need to get off. And then we would talk for another half an hour. <laughs> it's fine. Uh no, we are not in that stuff to plan. We were we were doing things <laughs> and then we were just kind of talking. And then we were just chatting. <laughs> It's fine. Um, no, we aren't in our thriller anymore. I feel like I need something else with a thriller to, for it to be like a five star. Like it can still be like good, like four stars, like it, like that'd be good. But I think for a five star, I need something else. It makes me wonder if that's why a lot of the bigger booktubers that started out reading thrillers and like my mind immediately goes to Kayla have kind of rebranded. Yeah, because you need something else. Yeah. Because, like, if that's all you're reading, it's going to start getting repetitive. Yeah, because there's only so much you can do. I'm really excited. Tomorrow I'm going to continue The Perfect Wife, which I did for my triad chapter. But this is a sci-fi thriller. So, like, yeah. there's, again. There's yeah, that one sounds terrifying. Oh, literally. And I didn't even realize because it reads like an amnesia thriller in the synopsis. So oh. I didn't realize it was sci-fi till I read the first chapter in the triad chapter. And I was like, wait a minute, she's a robot? <laughs> I was like, hold on. Right, we already got a twist. <laughs> hold on. Let's move this back a second. And she's like horrified because it's her like human consciousness. But now he's put it in a robot. And I'm like, well, yeah, you would be. Yep. That's, your, husband, uh... your husband went a little off the rocker when you died. And has made some choices. You know, historically in, in movies and stuff, that has worked out so well. Right. So I'm here for whatever <laughs> that is. Zero things could go wrong. I'm very excited to read that tomorrow. <laughs> um, made it to part four of the climate book. Nice. nice. Thank you for hanging out with us. You know what? It's fine. I, at that point, you might as well just get up. <laughs> I have no shame. You can be here at any time of the night that you wish because I may pop up at sprints. When my insomnia starts to rear its ugly head, you may see me at, at God untold hours mm -hmm. of the evening. So I understand. I think um, I turned Nicole's on last week, like as I was getting up and getting ready for work. And it was like five in the morning, my time. Yeah. And Nicole and Neighbor was like, what are you doing here? I was like, I got up on time. <laughs> Um, thank you for hanging out with us, Glenda. And yes, I will be back here on Thursday at noon. Uh, I didn't either until I read it. I read, I literally read the first chapter and went, excuse me, what? This is my sci-fi year. How did no one tell me? <laughs> um, thriller pads my TBR. There's snacks in between meals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Romance is kind of the same way. Mm-hmm. Forgot about this tab. Went to the barn and checked on the pigs in their new pasture. And then made dinner and ate. Nice. I told Ren I'm staggering my sleep again. So we'll spend the next week sleeping at 3 to 4 p.m. And later. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. I knew what you meant. <laughs> All good. Um, yes. Thank you. And thank you, Brie, for hanging out. If you don't know Ooh. Brie and are not subscribed, which I think you probably are, but if not, link. <laughs> It's in the, it's in the place down the bottom. You just click and go, but we're going to head off because in five minutes, Nicole's going to get started. So we're going to end this. It's going to take you right to Nicole. So you don't have to do anything. You just have to stay here and the magic of the internet will take you there. Um, but we are done here and I will see you Thursday for more sprints here on this channel.